You know, my friend was showing me pictures of me writing with my writing partner in my garage. And now to be here at the, you know, the Chinese theater is insane. It's really, it's a pinch yourself moment. I mean, look at that. That's, that's, who is that guy? That's you. <laughs> I hope it's just fresh. It's, it, it's different. I've made it with so much love. I think, you know, it's, it's really, um, it's kind of an ode to the genre, you know, and it's kind of this great cocktail of films spanning from Bruce Lee to Bollywood to the great Korean revenge movies, all of these things that have influenced me and, and I think there's a real beating heart in there. I think there's something about Dev as a man and as a actor that he is an implicit underdog and I think there's something everyone loves in seeing someone who you don't expect as the typecast for an action hero actually boiling over and totally kicking ass in a, in a fun ad hoc like Rube Goldbergian anything anything on hand I use as a weapon type of way. Very special. It was a very personal movie in the sense that I'm really close friends with Dev and so there's kind of that extra uh, enjoyment of just sort of vicariously experiencing his sort of success and triumph with the movie because he put his heart and soul and blood and sweat and tears into it. Yeah, it's unique but but familiar enough. That's a better way to word it, I guess. So you've got the the, the total kind of Indian culture seeping through the movie, but it's still the action stuff that people love and kind of crazy, you know, action moves and like, oh my God, did he just do that? You know, moments. I think the movie speaks to some very universal themes. It speaks to the idea of protecting our families, standing up for what's right, feeling like uh, against really, really bad odds, you can sometimes save the world. I really think this is Dev's coming of age. It's his renaissance and I'm here for it because I, I, it's really a story about underdogs who really, you know, uh, find their moment in the sun. And I think that's a story everyone can relate to at some level, you know. It's an action thriller, but I call it a very gentle film. There is, a, there is, a, there is an anger, there is an emotion attached to it, which is very soft. Deep inside, it's a very soft emotion. On the surface, there is a lot of you know, action. Dev Patel, I feel like, even as a person, if you look at him as a person, he's an artist, he's vulnerable, but he also has the ability to pack a punch. Like, I've always felt that way. He's super, super talented. But when you meet him, he's like a very approachable, humble, shy guy. And I feel like that carries through to his character on screen. I, I, I have seen the film already. I, I could watch it a hundred more times, but you want an action star that you can actually see a part of yourself in. And I feel like sometimes when you watch action movies, you're like, oh, that person is so beyond anything I could ever physically, emotionally, mentally accomplish. But Dev's character in this film is actually someone where you watch him using amazing things. You're like, oh, like I actually like, get a part of him, though. Like, a part of him is what I see in myself. And I think that's the perfect action hero. When you see an action genre infused with Indian culture, it's, it's, it's original, you know? And we're able to have a platform to talk about culture without um, without obstacles. I think it's a great time to be telling it. So a story like this, you know, referring back to our mythology and culture, uh, blending it with action and, and a lot of emotion, I think there's never been a perfect time uh, like now to say the story.